this is a super easy and cute way to spice up your milk tea. Oh wow, very good. Yeah, you like it? I love it. You love it? Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Mei Mei. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I said that. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do more Cooking with Mei Mei videos, but honestly, I haven't been doing them because they are so hard for me to make and they take me so long. But here I am today with another Cooking with Mei Mei. I'm sure all of you guys know that there is a boba shortage going on. I don't know if it already started or if it's happening in the coming weeks, I'm not really sure. And sometime last year, I actually made a three quick and easy boba recipes video that you guys seem to really like. So I thought this would be the perfect time to do a part two to that video. I really hope you guys try these out because they're super delicious and easy and we can get through this boba shortage together. So yeah, if you guys are excited for this return of cooking with Mei Mei, make sure you hit that thumbs up and let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do, of course, is to prepare the boba. So here I have some boiling water and we're just gonna add about one cup of boba to it. We're gonna keep stirring it until all the boba floats to the top. And one cup of boba is actually a lot. So when you're making a single serving or maybe two servings, you probably only need like one fourth cup to one half cup. But I'm making one full cup because we have multiple drinks to make in this video. So now that all the boba is floating to the top, we're gonna go ahead and put a lid on it. So I'm just cooking this according to the package. This is the brand that I'm using today. And it's just to cook it covered for two to three minutes. But if you guys watched part one, I was actually using boba out of this container. This one is actually a different brand. I'll put it on a screen because I threw away the package a long time ago. But both of these brands are pretty good, so I would recommend either of them, whichever one you can find at your local Asian supermarket. Or if you can't find it near you, I will have it linked in the description. Okay, so these have been cooking for about three minutes. I'm gonna turn the heat off now and we're gonna let it sit for two to three minutes with the lid closed. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead take the lid off and then I'm gonna take this and drain it but the package actually says to rinse it in cold water but whenever I rinse instant boba in the cold water it just gets harder faster and stuff so I don't like that so if you like soft and chewy boba like me I would recommend skipping that step all right so I have my drained boba here we need to soak it in some brown sugar I'm just gonna add a good amount in there four tablespoons ish and give it a good mix and it's important that you do this when the boba is still hot because it'll help melt the sugar. And it kind of creates this brown sugar syrup type of feel to it. And we basically let the boba soak and sit in here for a while so that way it can really absorb that brown sugar flavor. All right, so that looks pretty good. All the sugar is dissolved and we're gonna just let this sit while we make our drinks. So the first drink that we're gonna make today is a strawberry matcha latte, or is it called matcha strawberry latte? Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and take some strawberries and we're gonna chop them into small pieces. All right, so now I have all my chopped strawberries and I'm gonna grab a little cup with a, what do they call this? I guess it's a mortar and pestle, but it's not really. Anyway, something to mash up your strawberries with and I'm gonna go ahead and add some to my cup and then I'm gonna add some sugar. This is probably about a tablespoon. So we're gonna go ahead and mash it up. Mash, mash, mash. You should be able to see it leaking all the juices and working that sugar in there as well. Kind of becoming more mushy and more like, I guess a puree-ish type of thing. Now I've mushed it up pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the microwave for maybe 30 seconds. All right, now it's pretty hot. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit more of a stir and a mash. And yeah, our strawberry mixture is done. So we're gonna set that aside while we prepare the matcha. So for the matcha, I'm using this jade leaf matcha, barista edition ceremonial grade matcha. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a teaspoon and put it through the sifter. And basically you wanna sift it to prevent clumping. And I have a bamboo whisk here that I usually use to prepare matcha, but this one also works too. This is a milk frother, like a handheld milk frother. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot water to my matcha and then we're gonna give it a good whisk. You wanna whisk it rigorously back and forth because it helps it get all nice and frothy. All right, so now we just assemble the drink. I'm gonna go ahead and add our boba and then we add some of our strawberry. Now we're gonna add our ice and here I have my tiny ice cubes that you guys seem to love. I get so many questions about my ice cube, like what kind of ice maker do I have? But I just use an ice tray and I will link it in the description if you're interested, but it just comes out with the most perfect ice. 
Look at how cute and perfectly cubed those ice cubes are. I am obsessed. I didn't think something like ice cubes could bring me this much joy, but these ice cubes changed my life. I love them. And then here I have my little glass carton of milk and I get a lot of questions about this. I got this at CB2. And if you're wondering what milk I'm using, I always like to get this one. It's the Horizon 2% milk. Now we're gonna add our matcha. And if you guys want those nice layers, I recommend pouring it from a spouted cup and also make sure that when you're pouring it on, you're aiming for the ice. A lot of people tell you to pour it on the back of a spoon to break the stream, but I always just pour it on the ice to break the stream and it works just as well. Oh my God, my second camera shut off right as I started to pour the matcha. So I'm sorry, I didn't get a good shot of it. I'm pretty sad about that, but it's okay. So I'm of course using my Feed Me Me Boba straw and it has a pointed tip and it has this really cute Feed Me Boba saying. So let's go ahead and stir this up. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. It looks just like what you can get at the boba shops. The boba is nice and soft and chewy. You get that strawberry flavor as well as the matcha, a super good match. One might say a matcha made in heaven. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I'll stop now. But if you don't like strawberry, you can do this with different kinds of fruit puree. So you could do like mango. And if you're not a fruit person, you can do it without the fruit. So it would just be a matcha latte with boba. Or if you don't like matcha, you can also omit the matcha and just have like a strawberry milk situation. That is also really, really good. So you can definitely mix it up and have a bunch of different types of drinks. All right, so for the second drink, we are making a potted plant milk tea. And I've done a few of these over on my Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me over there because I like to post a lot of boba recipe videos there, but this is a super easy and cute way to spice up your milk tea. So the first thing we need to do is make the sweet cream that goes on the top of the milk tea. And you can also use a like cheese foam. I shared my cheese foam recipe in part one. So make sure you go check that out in case you haven't yet. But today we're making the sweet cream, which is actually a lot easier to make than the cheese foam. And it also pairs really well with a bunch of other drinks too. So first I'm gonna put one third cup of heavy cream, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of sugar about half a tablespoon. And here I have my electric mixer, but I only put one of the beater things on because, you know, only one can fit into this small cup. So we're basically gonna mix this until it becomes thicker, but still liquidy enough to where we can pour it. I think this consistency is probably okay, so let's set that aside and then we're gonna work on the milk tea now. So I have some black tea here that I steeped with loose leaf. And something I see a lot of milk tea recipes doing is using milk and tea. But if you actually go to the boba shops, a lot of them use tea and creamer. Because since milk doesn't have as rich or creamy of a taste as straight up creamer does, you usually end up adding a lot of it, which dilutes the tea flavor. So if you really want a strong tea flavor in your milk tea, I highly recommend using either creamer or half and half. That way you don't have to put as much, but you'll still get that nice creaminess coming through as well as the tea flavor can stay really strong. So for today's purposes, since I already have my cream out, I'm just gonna use this. And I usually just eyeball it, but I know you guys are gonna ask me for measurements. So I'm gonna go ahead and add like one tablespoon at a time. This is what it looks like after one tablespoon. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but it doesn't look quite the creaminess that I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the second tablespoon. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this simple syrup that I made. It's just equal parts sugar and water, and then you heat it on the stove until all the sugar dissolves. And you don't have to go out of your way to make the simple syrup, even though it is really easy. You can also just add sugar to it. So I'm gonna add some in here and then do a quick taste test to see if I need it sweeter, if I need it creamier. And this is basically how I make milk tea at home. I literally just taste test along the way to my own liking. Definitely needs more syrup, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Mm, okay, I think this is good. Now that we have our milk tea and our sweet cream, let's start assembling the drink. Seriously, can't get over these ice cubes. They are so freaking cute. Okay, then we have our black milk tea. And then we have our sweet cream that we made earlier. I may have whipped it a little too long, but that's okay. We still can work with it. And that's what's great about making these easy drinks at home is you can still mess up, but it'll still be really, really tasty. So don't be scared to try making drinks at home. It's really, really fun and saves me a lot of money. <laughs> and now I just have some crushed up Oreo here and we're just gonna put it right on top. And that's gonna be like the dirt or the soil of the plant drink. And now we have the final touch, which is just this little sprig of mint. We're just gonna place it right on top there. Ah, isn't it so cute? All right, now is the moment of truth. We're gonna go ahead and try it. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, I'm making a huge mess. Um, 
Maybe when you make it at home, don't fill it up to the top like I did. <laughs> I'm gonna sip it first. Mm. Mm. Uh oh. Wow, that sweet cream is really good, especially mixed with the Oreos. And like I said before, I actually usually use cheese foam on top instead of the sweet cream. But since I put cheese foam in my part one video, I thought I'd show you guys how to make it with sweet cream, which is an easier alternative. And I know some people don't like cheese foam or they think it's weird. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. Mm. Mm. The milk tea is creamy. It has such a nice, strong tea flavor. And when you blend it with the sweet cream, it gives this nice richness to it. It's super delicious. Let's get mom in here to try it too. Mom! Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Why you sound like a monkey? Ooh. <laughs> um, what is this, that? Well, I kind of ruined it. This is what it looked like before. Oh, nice. It's like a little plant. Oh, yay. Let's see this plant drink. I like it. Just the right amount of the sweetness. Oh really? Mom likes really sweet stuff. She used to not. She used to be like, you know, the normal Asian mom who doesn't like things too sweet. But then now she like loves things really sweet. Mm, I know. Sometimes people change. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this one, okay? Oh, okay. This one is very good. <laughs> All right, then let's start on the third drink. Okay, so for our last drink, we are doing a fruity tea type of drink. And if you guys have ever seen a drink that looks like this, that's basically what we're trying to do today. And for this drink, a lot of people like to put some cheese foam on top. So if you would like to do that, feel free to, but today we are just gonna stick to the fruit tea part. So I have some jasmine green tea here. You can use normal green tea, you can use black tea, whatever you want. And I'm gonna put in about 250 milliliters. Now I'm gonna add that strawberry, I don't know if it's really a strawberry puree, but that strawberry mash from the strawberry matcha latte. Ooh. Now I'm gonna add some of our cute teeny ice cubes and we're gonna blend it on up. Wow, that actually looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some strawberries in there. And the reason that we put this in later is because you just want that kind of texture from the strawberry. So I'm gonna add these in there and then I'm gonna give a good amount of simple syrup and then we're gonna blend it again. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Now the rest is super easy. We just add our boba and then we pour our strawberry jasmine green tea. Look at how pretty that looks. I love the pink color and you definitely see some of those strawberries in there. And yeah, like I said before, it would be super delicious topped with cheese foam as well. All right, now let's give it a try. Mm. Oh my God. Seriously, it has such a strong jasmine flavor and you get the fresh strawberries as well. Oh, it's a nice pair. Mm. Seriously, it tastes just like the ones you would pay five to six dollars, sometimes even seven dollars for at the boba shop. So saves you a bunch of money, super refreshing and delicious. Can't go wrong with this one. All right, let's get mom in here for the final taste test. Mom! Oh my good, you have something <laughs> else for me. <laughs> this is a strawberry jasmine green tea. It's kind of... I hope it's sweet enough for you. <laughs> oh, wow. Very good. Yeah, you like it? I love it. You love it? Like a blast of like summer refreshing flavor. They sell this at the boba shops for like five, six bucks. Nice. <laughs> I can order every day then. No. No? <laughs> I was about to say, mom loves saving money. That's why I was trying to impress her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm definitely gonna finish this one. Okay. This is so good. All right, so that's it for this three easy boba recipes video. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys liked the best. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And here is today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you wanna be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh. I can't do it. Okay, fade to black. <laughs> One. Oh no. Okay, I'll get that later. Okay, so um, uh, I don't think I'm centered anymore. Dang it. Is it centered? I hope it's centered. Bird, can you come and tell, tell me if this is centered? And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this. Why did I wave? <laughs> oh my god.